Hello everybody, I'm Franco Pantoni. And today we are here to learn how to walk and actually how to make a walk into a workout. To begin with, there are three kinds of walks. There's health walk, there's power walk, and there's race walk. And I'll go very briefly through the explanation of them. First, health walk is nothing more than a brisk walk where you pump your heart up to 120 deg uh, 20 beats, I'm sorry. The uh, power walk, like the word says, is a forced march where you bend your arms and you power walk. It's a forced walk. And then, of course, there's race walk, which is an all different new ball game where we have to assume a certain technique because race walking has two international rules, and they are one foot must be on the ground at all times, and the knee of the supporting leg has to be straightened momentarily as the body goes over it. So these are the international rules. In order to race walk, the first thing that we have to do is to assume a straight posture. We have to imagine that there is an invisible wire pulling us up from the spine up to your head and assume a straight posture. The second thing you want to do is to lean forward about four or five degrees, not more than that, to a point that you feel like you're tumbling forward. Once you have done that, the second thing you want to do is to bend your arms into a 90 degree angle. So this is the proper alignment for it. You put one fist on top of the other. But remember, do not tighten your fist because the tightening of the fist will tense up all your shoulder and your arms. So you actually want to clench your fist about six inches from your chest. Drop your shoulders, relax them, and begin to swing in a natural motion, just like I'm doing. The second move that you want to do, once you assume that straight posture and the leaning forward, it will come natural to you as you step forward to land on your heel. And as you can see, I have a straight leg. At this point, my leg is functioning as a lever for my body. As I begin to push off with the back toe, my body propels forward. I'm gonna just go over one more time. You assume the 90 degree angle arms, bend forward a little bit. As you step forward, land on your heel, propel yourself forward with the back toe, straighten your knee, and go on to the other step. When you do this kind of a movement, the first thing you want to do is reach out with your heel. As you reach out with your heel, swing your hip a little forward. This way, with your push off and the swinging of your hip, you will gain anywhere from three to four inches each stride you do. Because we're trying to do here, we're trying to find a formula that is effective and efficient in our walk. And I will give you a slight demonstration. Four times a week is the minimum that we should walk. And what I would do for the very beginning, I would not worry about mileage or speed, how fast. I know that everybody's obsessed with that. Also remember that everything happens from back forward. This is why I mentioned you propel yourself forward. In front of you, everything is dead. One other thing also, don't ever, ever overstride. A lot of people make a very long stride thinking that you may go faster. 